The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We have the uh, Dow Industrials right now down five. NASDAQ up five. S&P's up two. Gold contracts down $3.60, trading at 1238 we have uh, silver down eight cents, sixteen dollars twenty cents an ounce. Platinum is down four fifty nine sixteen an ounce. You get the light sweet crude market up thirty cents, forty seven dollars sixty two cents a barrel. Notes ten year note up four ticks one twenty six oh five. Thirty year bond up nineteen one fifty four seventeen. King dollar down one hundred and thirty three ticks ninety four point four five five. That king dollar moved this morning. You got Draghi over there speaking, of course, right, yep. for the ECB and, and some action in the currencies and we, bonds. And, yeah. the, the dollar, before Draghi was speaking, folks, the dollar was up 350 ticks. Uh, when he starts speaking, just went sideways for, you know, about all of four minutes, right? And then he started his news conference, and the thing went down 400 ticks in a heartbeat. Pretty intense. Yeah. 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 You get the euro trading at 115.67 to the U.S. dollar. The yen's at 112.14 uh, to the U.S. dollar. Uh, if you haven't uh, test drove the Nadex platform, folks, great time to do it. Come over to our website at tfnn.com. You can hit the banner, bring up the exchange, and walk along with us as we uh, trade these defined option contracts. Uh, let's go inside the Dow uh, and see uh, the strength versus the weakness out here because lots of numbers coming out. No two ways about that. Before the market, uh, after the market today, Microsoft's going to be the number. Yeah. Uh, right now, Home Depot is the leader <laughs> on the way down. That's putting a negative 40 points into... Uh, the Dow, Travelers is putting 14, American Express is putting 8, Cisco is putting, uh, oh, that's only fractional, yeah. that's nothing, yeah. Uh, bringing a positive into the Dow, we get Nike putting 10 positive, United Health 8, IBM 6, Goldman 6. If we go into the NDX 100, we take a look at the NDX 100. The leader out here is Mylan Pharmaceutical up 2.7%, uh, Liberty's up 2, Re Regeneron's up 1.5, taken away from it. Uh, Checkpoint Software is down 6.7%. That's getting hit. Whoa. Yeah. Qualcomm's down 4.3. Um, Shire's, nice Shire's down 1.5. Uh, let's go to Checkpoint just for yeah. a second. I want to see what this is looking like. That's quite a hit. Holy yeah. cow. It was at the high yesterday. Gap down uh, 7 points. Let's go to uh, Ron in Orlando. Hey, Ron, what's going on? Well, I was just wondering what happened with Home Depot that it dropped 5 points. Let's take a look. We got uh, Home Depot down uh, six points right now. Oh, this is interesting. Is that the, there? There. So the uh, the news is uh, that because uh, Sears did a deal with uh, Amazon, you know. So that's just news. So let, let's. It's, it's also Sherwin Williams cutting their forecast, and if people aren't painting houses, I think that's what's translating immediately okay. right into as, okay. as it says it. Sherwin cutting its yeah, yeah cut, that'll be a big one. That's right. actually the lead, not serious. It's, right. it's more right. just that you know. And that's quite that a would hit. correlate well, right? If that, everyone redo, redoes their house, they they include a paint job. And oh, if paint yeah, jobs they, aren't flying, then everyone's saying, hold on a second, HD might be coming. There's you know, no no. Go. Now, do you own this? You're looking to buy it, Ron. I own some of it and was looking to add to it, but probably not now. No, no, and, and I'd put a stop in because <laughs> uh, Home Depot can trade down to 130. 130. 130 is oh. the last time. Let me put this on a week, on a monthly. On a weekly, that's the last time it had volume on the way up. And you know, this has been quite a run. I mean, Home Depot went from 28 dollars, you know, yeah. up, you know, so you can expect. Yeah, I'd put a stop in this baby like pronto. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's good. Well, that's. I was just trying to figure out what the news was. I hadn't seen it come across anywhere. Yeah, there's nothing too startling, but it looks like that's it with the Sherwin Williams, right? Um, and and cunning in, there in the scare of Amazon. Uh, they. I would say that, so. Home Depot does sell Kenmore products. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or appliances. In general, Every right? yeah. They well. What, what does happen is that the 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 large. Um, Home Depot, Lowe's, 
their Samsung, Kenmore, Frigidaire, they don't have the big high-end products. Do you know okay. what I'm saying? So that does... Is it Kenmore? Do they do because the Sears brand? They should have them too? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, 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 because, yeah they, they, they spread it out. Um, so, you know, that's there. But the Sherwin-Williams deal probably is... Let me show... Let me, let me pull a I think it says HW. Okay. That's... HW. Okay, so that's down seventeen dollars. It's three hundred and forty dollars stock. Just yeah, and that's not bad either. Right. Really. Okay, so I mean, maybe part of it though, and you know, Home Depot is saying, you know, hold on, if if Amazon is going to start forging deals with appliance manufacturers, then why aren't they going to start forging deals with everybody else that offers any item at? Oh, there's, there's no, there's, no, there's, there, there's so. no doubt. We buy a lot of appliances, right? So, when when this is this is kind of interesting. This is a real interesting story, actually. When 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 we started the fund, Sears was closing its uh, retail <laughs> stores, right? And yeah. I actually bought eighty-seven thousand dollars worth of appliances off them that was worth about one hundred and eighty. Sure. Uh, we stored them. We were already used them all, um, but appliances. Because you're buying the exact same thing, it really does make a difference with the prices. Sure. Because every single one that we buy now, we hunt it everywhere. And so it's like who you can almost say the, the same thing about any item going into a house, though. They're indistinguishable by, by item number most of the time. They are, but appliances are a big part of the house. Oh, and sure. that's, yeah. you know, so yeah. whoever gets the cheapest, right. you know, it's going to have a yeah. happen. Put a stop in, Ron. Okay, gotcha. Okay, Thanks, Ron. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow's down 13. Nasdaq's off 2. S&P's a flat. We'll be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, and minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionics, oil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Folks, we have the uh, Dow right now down 30. You get the Nasdaq uh, off seven. S and P's a flat. Uh, gold is down uh, 390. Uh, we get over and we take a look. Oh, natural gas. That's right. Natural what are we gas. Take a look at? Let's you got go it. take a look at natural gas. It's Thursday. We're coming into 1030. We got those EIA numbers. We're taking a look at oil yesterday. So that oil trade updating, that thing just kind of stayed at the level it was at for a little while, about yes, 11 o'clock. So we're looking at the August contract, natural gas. We'll take a quick peek, trading at about 3.09 right now. I jumped into the 11 a.m. spreads on the Nadex platform over the break. These, let's see, so we're at 3.09, and what is nice is that they line up with 3.10 as a point if we wanted to buy a bullish one, sell a bearish one. Let's see what kind of prices we're dealing with. So we have a little bit of a head start to the downside, right? About a penny or even half a penny at this okay. point. So we're looking at the 310s to 330s. Yes, and right now we're trading just a hair under 310, right? Yep. And then we're looking at the 310s to the 290s, and again, trading just a hair under it. So we're selling that one for 15. We're buying this one for eight. Is that eight? Yes, and we're looking at 23. So you're looking at 2.3 pennies away from the 290, uh, the 310. Okay. And we're almost, uh, we're just oscillating right around that point. So, and just before we jump in, what contract was that we are looking at? That was the August contract. Okay. okay, so let's see what we got here. So, and the, we've had some good volatility inside this uh, market. Uh, Commodities in general. That's you got the, the September contract I got here. Okay. That's okay. We'll see where we're at. So oh, interesting. It's basically a penny away from where we're trading at on the other one. 308 versus 309, 310. Right. So there'll be similar and price it's levels. It's right at the top of the range too. That's what we were looking at yesterday. Remember when we were right. looking at oil and natural gas and <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, so. Let's, let me go, one second, I'll look at this, because I, I get a feeling this is, okay, so we go up, we test, dramatic, okay, cool, I got it. So let's go back and look at that, because what, okay. what I want to see, I'd be, I'd be bearish on this now. Well, you'd have a half penny head start to the downside, I mean, okay. we're almost, <clears throat> excuse me again, right, right to the point, but you would have that half cent of value, so again, we're selling the bearish one, which is going to be a little bit more expensive because that's okay. where our five to six cents, yeah, five to, <clears throat> to six cent ticks of value. Um, yeah, so about twenty three dollars, and we're trading right at three oh nine right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What are you thinking? I'm we'll taking easy. We still have nine minutes no, till the news. No, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at that. Okay. Um, let me pull up the uh, UNG Go for, for a second. UNG. So the UNG, folks, is the uh, ETF structure for this. Uh, we're trading at 690 right now. That's up three pennies. And this also, you're coming into 7.8 million. Yesterday we did 3.2. Um, I, I like that deal, that's for sure. Yeah, so I'd say <coughs> bottom line is that. Uh, yeah, well, look at this. It's pull. It's pulling down right before. Yeah, it and it's marginal. It's still even at three oh eight nine. Call it three oh nine. You know, you're one okay. penny away. That's that's not too bad. I'm just jumping around again, just trying to see. So as it is moving though, that is shifting a little bit. Now it's twenty five. It is interesting how sometimes, right? Right. Um, so let's hit it anyway. Okay. Let's see where we where we're at here. Okay. Cool. Okay. And you got. Just so make sure. yesterday, what we end up doing is that. We closed the contract that went higher. Yes, we closed the bullish position, yeah. locked in a break even. Right, and actually you, made money. Yeah, you know, a couple yeah. Bucks. after even the commissions, made, it might have been. Commissions did. Did yeah. Okay, yeah. nice. Um, we needed 21, I got 25 cents. Uh, um, I'm not sure 21 was 40 something. We were working away from, was it? yeah. That, I believe that was. Because uh, okay. both contracts were like $40. Um, so. In this case, let me let me pull up the contract again. So in this case, folks, what I'm looking for is we have the contract. The contract's at 307. We got to 308 today. 
you, yeah, the top of the consolidation is 311. And okay, so 290. Well, this would be interesting. 298, we could go to. Okay, we'll see what happens there. Yeah. Um, and I guess I'm going to find out what's going on there. Um, let's go take a look at some of the higher volume stocks out here, and we'll see whether we get any volume out here today. Uh, well, actually, I want to look at Microsoft first, because Microsoft, no doubt. Um, okay, so Microsoft's at all-time highs. Not bad. Hanging up there. Yep. Uh, 7360. I believe they come out right after the close. Uh, four minutes. Four, oh, nine. Nine, nine minutes past four. Now, see, this is important, folks, if you're trading the Natix product, too. Sure. Because the futures close at 4.15. Correct, yeah. You know, so and as we know, in earnings season, you can get some movement in those 15 you, you, you minutes. Can, you can sure. get some yeah. movement. Um, you know, we haven't yet. Because I, 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 I traded that uh, right before the close last night um, for Qualcomm. I didn't lose anything. I didn't make sure. anything. Uh, Qualcomm, because Qualcomm can move the NDX 100, sure. too. It's an $80 billion company. Yeah. And, that's, you know. and it, it's, had, it's, it's a decent weighting structure inside the NDX 100. Sure, as in, as in right, you know, it, because it's an $80 billion. There's, you know, there's only a few that are so, so big, right? you got to be... So... Okay, yeah. The what happened with Qualcomm is that when they come out with those numbers, it was up a dollar, then it went down a buck and a half, you know. And yeah. so th that wasn't enough movement. Sure, you need it all one way. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, Google, you know, that that's something that because it likes to gap. It's a Six hundred eighty well, billion dollar yeah. company, let alone an eighty billion dollar right. company. So yeah, that that likes to basically go to the moon or take a dive. Sure. And that's where you can get some real action. Definitely. Go back to Microsoft description. Yeah. What's their market cap? Because they're right oh, up there, that, too. It's a big one, yeah. yeah. There you go, $568 billion. Yeah. Yeah, over, over half a trillion dollars. Isn't that wild? Yeah. So that's, when they get movement, the, the industry gets movement, and that's what you need. That's why, really, it's Apple, and that's Microsoft. App, uh, Amazon. No, that's Apple. Apple. Yeah. $786 yeah. Billion, and Amazon. Amazon. Almost there. Four hundred ninety-one billion. Okay, and uh, I think there's an all-time high in Amazon. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Another all-time high. Pretty amazing, man. It is. Uh, the uh, Facebook. Let's go. Facebook's getting there. Four hundred seventy-three million, billion yep. rather. Yep. And Facebook's been on the march too. Yep. Uh, Facebook comes out with numbers. Twenty-six. So what we have here today the, right is today's the twentieth, right? Yes. Yeah. So it it really starts today. Um, you know, with the tech the companies. Yeah. Today, with, yeah. My, with Microsoft. Yeah. Uh, we have option expiration tomorrow. You come into next week, and you, you're gonna you're gonna see some movement around here. Yeah. Um, you know the uh, let's go to the TLT, which is the twenty plus bond ETF structure fund. That's at one twenty five. And this is creeping back up. Let me see. Are we over? 124. Well, this is interesting. You're back over, you know, the swing high of the 18th. Now, it doesn't have volume. This is going to get, you know, this is going to be a battle here for these bonds, you know, because the, they're going to need more volume, you know, to get up into the last highs. Yeah. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow's down 18. NASDAQ's off two. S&P's are flat. We are going to be right back, folks. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today.
Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. And we, uh, let's see, we've got some premature movement, That's I think, I thought, in, inside right? the uh, the gas market. The gas market uh, at uh, 1029 uh, right. popped up, so uh, maybe they come out number early with the numbers. Yeah, let's... no, they're usually pretty good about it, but let's just see if, um... there we go. Natural gas inventories rose 28 billion cubic feet. Let's okay. see if that even digs any deeper. So here's our chart, looking at July 4th, July 7th. Um, yeah, so that's just the headline number pretty much with some of the flows, East Midwest Mountain. Let's see if I can get the numbers actually. So we go here, natural gas. Okay, so. So the estimate was 33 billion cubic feet. Okay. And the stockpiles rose by 28. So a little bit less than they were looking for. Yeah. Which should send the stock higher, and that is what happened prior to that 1030 number. Isn't that interesting? It is. Yeah. It is. Someone got um, it a minute early. And not much action since then. So we right. got 310 as that pivot point. We got our two spreads up here, kind of waiting to see. And, you know, we're only a minute and 36 seconds into the action after the news. And as right. we know, and can, we have the 11 a.m. Yeah. And so you can get some movement in those 29 minutes remaining. And we'll see. But you got both spreads up here, and that's what you'd want to have when you're trading like this. And I need uh, two. Is it. Three pennies, I need. A two, yeah, two and a half. Two and a half pennies. Okay. Two and a half okay. pennies, ideally for for like a break even. Right. And we'll see. Market's kind of digesting it at this point. Not too much action. Um, and this is where you know you really start digging down into that report and why there's movement that follows after because then they start talking about droughts and, and yeah. all these underlying factors. Let alone the right. the, the top line, you know, uh, stockpile number of twenty eight. Right, no yeah. doubt. Yeah. Uh, and if we stay with, with the Nadex product for a second, folks, I'll show you what I was, this is the first time I, I missed this trade for a while. Um, this morning, I was waiting for this gold trade, and uh, yeah, I can bring it up, yeah. so I can show you what, what I was doing. The, uh, look at that movement, man. There that's, you go. That's awesome. Uh, it's just too bad I didn't get it. Sure. Uh, so anyway, what happened is that when we had that pullback, uh, the first pullback, this would have been earlier this morning, uh, I was, I missed it by about a buck. Okay. And what I was looking for uh, is I was looking for a retest of the low that had been established. 
And then it just took off. And then I left it in there, and then I came back, and I almost got it again. Yeah. You know. But yeah. bottom line is, I'm not going to chase it. But let's go over to that market because it looks like gold's moving right now, right? It sure does. Yeah. 1242. We're up about four dollars in the last 15 minutes or so. GCQ, and it makes sense too because what's happened, folks, is that as we've been talking about, this dollar is toast. Definitely. I mean, it's pretty intense. Um, there yeah, you go. that's quite a move. Yeah. And uh, I suspect let's go look at the dollar because that means the dollar's going lower too. Oh, there she is, unreal. This is, you know, going to be a ninety-three dollar range in no time. Look at that! Wow, it is ripping it apart. Holy cow! <laughs> Some big profits look, look made at, and lost in the dollar over the last few months. Huge. Yeah. Look at look at look at this, folks. <clears throat> we we went from ninety-four nine seventy. It's a whole to, dollar practically. It is. It is. You know, that's yeah. that's pretty intense. A thousand ticks, right? Yep. Yep. So. Uh, what that's doing, it's a penny actually. But okay. the, what, what you have there is that the 92 to 91's wide open now, which is just amazing. Man. Yeah. I mean, it's like wow. You know, I mean, I mean, I've been bearish, but it was blowing my mind that it's actually happening Be because of the fact that we still have higher interest rates than everyone else, right? But you know, what this is projecting on a fundamental basis. If you're a fundamentalist, that's saying, hey, guess what? You know, the the bottom line is that. Um, other kind where that the dollar is overpriced. Yeah. You know? Yep. That, that's overpriced. Yeah. Let's check back to natural gas before we jump around. Oh, for a second I was like, oh, look, nope, that's gold. Where are we? Okay, so a little oscillation back at 310. Need to root for a little movement, but not much premium paid for those two trades, which is nice. You know, no, no. you're risking $25. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. Exactly. Uh, into the broad market, uh, let's go look at the NASDAQ, uh, NQU7. So the NASDAQ out here, got some volatility there also. You know, we'll see whether you get any follow through though. You know, the NASDAQ, the futures hit 59.38, right? Uh, you know, now you're at 59.05. These babies would have to come down quite a bit in order to... Uh, NASDAQ's had quite a run. It has quite, had quite a run. Actually, the, 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 the NDX, let's see. Yeah. Oh, no, dog. it's not. You know what? It's teetering right now on a failure. This is going to be sure. interesting. So it's 59.0750. Yeah, that's that, the high from June that, 9th. Yeah. That's the number because we got over it yesterday with dramatically lighter volume. You, if you tuck right back inside that uh, quickly, bottom line, uh, you know, coming into option expiration, that will set up a nice trading day, man. Sure. You know, uh, the Qs right now, 143.74. And 143.90 was the number, yep. and we got to 144. So, yep. you know, that's that's going to be a classic test. Uh, let's go look at the IBB. So the IBB is at uh, up a buck 91, 321. Uh, this, let's see, the highest it was 322. About 28 cents over it. I'd like to see it just tap that 323. Uh, you know, it tested it yesterday and failed on price and volume. We'll see whether it can tap that uh, 323.45. Mm. Yeah. Get any juice inside it. Sure. The, uh, let me go look at the euro for a second. So, I'm sure that's doing well. Look at well, that rank top side, huh? Well, yeah, with the dollar down. Seriously. A full yep. point. The Canadian dollar, let's look at the Canadian dollar. Same deal, 125. Now, what's going to happen if you're in the the gold business, folks? Uh, and this is something you're going to be stay cognizant of: is that uh, it may not hit this quarter; it would hit next quarter. With the U.S. dollar getting weak and the Canadian dollar getting stronger, what happens is that there's a lot of gold in Canada and there's a lot of business in Canada. Sure. What happens, however, is that when their dollar gets so strong, right? Expenses. And yeah, they don't bring it to the bottom line as right. much. When this first happened, like in 2003, folks. Like everyone was like, what just happened? Expenses get more expensive. Yeah, because the, the big, you know, Gold Corp was up there, there were great companies sure. up there, and they didn't bring it to the bottom line, and sure. all of a sudden realized that, oh, guess what? Currency problem, right? It's a currency problem. Yeah. You know, now that being said, what, what, I'll show you something else. Now, watch on the other side, like if you look at the McEwen mining, now McEwen's only 257, but because that is most of their business is in Nevada, yeah. that's, you, you want to, you can't basically, get all the companies that are in the United States. Because sure. like the big nuance and stuff, they're all sure. over the place. But that is very they benefit helpful. benefit from that, right, for sure. They do, yeah. they do. 
Like Nuance going to benefit from it. They, yeah. Nuance and Monster, but they have a they have a lot of, they have a big presence in the U.S. And there's a decent you know appreciation as as the right. dollar has been traded. Right? Exactly. Yeah. And what the difference is, folks, is that they get paid by U.S. dollars and their expenses are in U.S. dollars. So it, right. it's crucial to, to understand how versus that, the expenses in Canada. Or that's South right. America. Look at gold take off. Here we go. We get action. We finally get action. There you go. Um, GCQ seven. So we've already had a price spread out here from 12.34, now we're at 12.45. Not bad. Yeah, and what what you have is that this is where, oh, you could have a nice ABC up here. We just, uh, 12, yeah, this is this could be a beauty. Uh, it's 15 bucks, uh, 35, like that, 12, 12.50. This, it could be a multi-day uh, ABC structure on the way up. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We'll be right back, folks. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White has just announced a new online course that he'll be premiering to his subscribers the evening of July 26th, the next wild, wild west of computing. Machine learning will be the biggest growth area for tech companies in the next 10 years. Make sure you're ready to capitalize on that opportunity. With over 50 types of algorithms and growing, Dave White will tell you why there are so many areas for companies to apply this to their business to both sell and consume. Right now, you can get a 30-day free trial to either of Dave's newsletters, Path of Least Resistance and the Technology Insider, as well as get a 30-day money-back guarantee when ordering Timing the Trade charts. Don't miss out on the next wild, wild west of computing as it premieres July 26th for all subscribers to Dave White Services. For all the details and to sign up today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. So Dow right now is down 40. You get the NASDAQ off uh, 15. S&Ps are off 4. We have gold up uh, 290. Silver's up 8 cents. It's quite a turnaround there. Yeah. And uh, good old uh, King Dollar just can't handle it. And a quick glimpse at the natural gas. So you're getting some some action to the downside here. We're trading at 308.8. Right. So right now, even with the bid offer spread, you know, you could get back 8 
seven, eight, nine dollars, which is cutting fifth. That you know is only twenty three dollars. We're talking about right. risk, and you still have eighteen, seventeen minutes. So we'll see if that can maybe jump around a little bit more. But you could grab some value off there. Um, you might want to wait just because the spread represents percentage-wise so much money, as in you're taking even right now only three dollars off the table. Um, whereas the market's trading, it would give you six dollars. You see right. that? So uh, it's trading three or nine four. That's intense. So you'd you'd be bad. Yeah. I would be right. more inclined to just let it play out, right? Because that's you're doubling what you'd be able to take off the table that's just right. by not having to pay the spread. Right. So something to consider. Right. When unless you're, unless you know, like like right here. So picture if you're watching Tiger TV, it's back and into where it took off from. Sure. And you know if you got that, then it's like okay, if it goes back. The values up yet, values value. If you don't right. think that right. it's going to close under that. Right. Uh, 310 level, right. then there's no harm in taking any value, right? right? right. I just say, right. And that's why right. I pointed it out because no, even no. there is value, which is nice. And, right. you know, $9 would cut it in half if you got that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Let's go to Mike in Toronto. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Good morning there. How, How are you doing? doing? Yeah, hi. Could you take, take a look at AMBAC Financial? So you AMBC. Get AMBC. This is a holding company that uh, provides financial guarantees, insurance, financial management services. The low is 15, the high is 27. They're having mm -hmm. quite a day. Yeah, it gapped up uh, three and a half bucks today. Is this a debt cap bounce, or what's your gut opinion? Let's see. Well, let's see. Let's put this on a monthly. Okay, so you've tested. No, no. I mean, this is this has been. You know, bring this back to 2013. You had that high volume low at 15 bucks. Mm -hmm. You came off with volume. You got up to 35. Mm -hmm. You came all the way back to that level. First time you tested it with 10 million versus 16. Then you hit a low at eight. Got another sign of strength last December. Pulled back with light volume. No, this thing wants to trade up to uh, 21 to 27 bucks. You know, I wouldn't be buying it on this. I wouldn't be buying on this gap away, but. Uh huh. You know. So what's going on with the stock? Do you know? Well, uh, I think they're earning. I guess it's earnings, huh? No, it's not. Let's see. Uh, one of two major catalysts for AMBEC shares arrives with a long way to deal, allowing the company's segregated account to exit rehabilitation. Uh, sees deals. So the, it's something regulatory-wise. That's what it looks like. Uh, AMBEC said it reached rehabilitation exit support with a group of holders of deferred amounts of segregated accounts of the AMBEC Assurance Corporation. Notes that are due in 2020. Uh-huh. So more than but likely, don't they, have, don't they have exposure to Puerto Rican debt? Well, I, I have a feeling well? that when I look at this, this segregated account rehabilitation, more than likely they separated these. This this this, this equity also had big problems during 2008. Yeah. And more than likely that those accounts, it looks to me, I'd have to do more work on it. It looks like those accounts are in a separate deal and. What they're saying is that they reached some kind of agreement with someone. And that's so it's saying that this may provide them oh, with a strong warranty negotiation. Of Bank of America. There it is. That's where you, Se huh? Settlement of the representative warranty litigation with Bank of America. That's See, a, yeah. And this is what it's going to provide them with a strong negotiation as they come okay. into that because right. they were saying that while they were in this rehab um, program for their, yeah. that they wouldn't, they, um, they were unlikely to settle okay. while their segregated account was in rehab. Okay. So they're exiting that rehab right. and now they're going to be able to move forward with probably other issues that, right. that are stemming right. and. Right. Okay. Just wait for the okay, pullback, so Mike. Thank you. Okay, Thanks, man. Mike. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Uh, gold's still on the move. I gotta see where your natural and gas is trading on the move. Okay. Oh, this is good. Getting a little action. Yeah. What so, I need the three oh seven and a half, don't I? Yes, right. Yeah. And that'd be about two and a half pennies away from that three ten. There's your okay. twenty five dollars. And so right now we're trading to call it three oh nine and the market is trading, you know, three ticks on either either side. Okay. Three oh eighty seven, three oh ninety three. Hey, we'll see what happens. You got 13 minutes. That can be a lifetime when you're okay. when you need one penny of movement to it, break even. It is a lifetime with these. There's no doubt about it. Especially on EIA inventory, right? And you know. Well, and and what you have uh, is that the destruction of the dollar right here. We're in 93 dollar territory. This is this it didn't is take it, long. This, no, this is serious business. Can you jump into the dollar even again? Yeah. Even since the last time we looked at it, it's down another oh, yeah. 20 cents. Um, we we're, we're trading at 94.10, I think, when we were talking about it. Now it's under 90, 94. You're Look talking about serious business here. Yep. You know, that's that's quite a move. Uh, so now we have gone down a thousand ticks, a full yep. penny.
and that's you know it it doesn't sound like a lot but that's well, a lot. To, i mean it's literally right. as you said that it was to the penny from the high 94 980 right. and we're at 93 right. 980. right uh, and if we go take a look at this, what you're going to see, let's see, DX1. Had $100, a dollar's gone. Yeah, <laughs> right. And the, the leverage that is here in these, you, you can see, right. if I, let me I'll put this up because it's quite clear that, you know, we're right next to the bottom of the consolidation. Oh, for sure. You know, if you break this consolidation, for, now this consolidation, started in January of 2015. First low was established in May. Um, what I find so remarkable too is that you know there had to be traders out there that bought the dollar on the election. Oh, totally. And then were smart enough to realize that it had escalated past the point of reasonability maybe right. and to turn around and go well, short once happened. you got that run. Right, the, you know, the, it, 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 this is a, this is a, you know, basically typical move you because know? you had time even if you went long or just as the election happened you had time even if you didn't you know peg the top in january because oh, totally. that's when he came you know you, trump the new administration you, came you, in. you had four months and I the, mean, you had four, you had a full that's, month. i was going to jump yeah. out to like right. right even around here right? right where you can see the market saying okay we have three months in office we have two months in office what's right. happening and then all of this eventually 101 down to 94 right. in the span of three months right yeah you know, this is well, the thing that's amazing is that you hear no one talking about the aspect that the dollar is getting weaker. Also, yeah, I heard you saying that on your show, and I agree. Yeah. I know it's quite you know, a move. It, it really um, hey, there's a lot to talk about right now. You know, you can only talk about so much in the span of a day. <laughs> no, you, you can. But what's going to happen is that it's always about guess what? It's oh, about money. We go going here. So look at this. So oh, we're like three, here we go. So right now we're looking at already seventeen dollars. You want to put a um, a price somewhere in here? No, I'm gonna let it go. You're gonna let it go. Why not? As far as it goes, we're not taking profits. We're just gonna let this thing cascade for the next ten minutes to the second. Right now, man, that's nice movement with ten minutes that to is. go. So that's nice gonna be a, that's gonna be a failure of that swing point that we were looking at. You know, that is a quick turnaround, especially when we came in. Look at that. Here we go. Um, the number was less than they thought it was gonna be, meaning right. that the, the price should. You right. know, increase, which is what that instantaneous was. Always remarkable getting to see these as they break down. This, this, the first move crazy, is never man. an it's indication crazy. of where it needs to go. And you know what? If, you, if you're doing these folks, what has happened is this. Like yesterday, the all the strike prices were at the right point, and, the, and today they were too. Because remember, sure. we haven't done these for like two or three weeks now, yeah. at least. Right. You know and what I mean? This one was nice, as in it was right at that 310 mark, right. where you had the price, you know, the floor and the ceiling. And right. It was, and and at a swing, you know? Right, so, right, right, which, yes. Which was nice. Yeah, that 310 is like the, right. the ceiling recently. Right. Yeah. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. 877-927-6648. We're going to be right back, folks. Trading is different than investing. But the opportunity to take advantage of short-term trends is only one if you get the direction right. Direction leveraged and inverse ETFs offer bold trades on U.S. and international stocks and bonds. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. 
Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNM.com. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com educating investors catch basil chapman as he uses his chapman wave methodology to call the markets the tiger technicians hour next on tfnn <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Dow right now is down 30. You get the uh, Nasdaq off seven. Uh, S&Ps are down a buck. And if you want to get ahead of the curve, folks, on uh, machine learning, well, my man, Mr. Dave White, he is going to do, uh, he's going to premiere an online trading course uh, a week from last night, right? That's right. Sub uh, September. Listen to me. We're not quite there yet. July 26th. Yeah. Six days away on Wednesday evening. He's going to premiere it. I think we're going to premiere it right after your show on Wednesday evening. Nice. Um, so the, the next wild wild west in computing and you know dave is our technology export of expert of course he's yeah. got his technology insider newsletter um and man you know when when technology takes hold and changes industries and this could be the next kind of totally. big r ramp up that you know you have these huge companies like alexa right amazon you got apple and siri and i was listening to dave on your show yesterday and he was kind of saying which i hadn't thought about in a while how Siri hasn't really been talked about that much, right? right? And you know right. now Alexa's, and we're just we're talking about Alexa again this morning, right? Making deals with Sears because with what the Sears deal is, folks, is that they're gonna Alexa, you're gonna be able to use. The, they're gonna Kenmore. integrate. But I said to Tommy, well, it's not gonna put your clothes in the dryer. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's the next item coming down. Hey, listen, they have a Roomba that vacuums your rug. You know, ten yeah. years ago, twenty, that would have been a joke saying, yeah. well, they're not gonna clean your house for you. And guess yes, what? They, they got machines that are cleaning the floors okay. already. Um, but yeah, and you know, when you talk about it, I mean, how does that Roomba know where to go, right? It's learning where your house is. It's learning right. the dimensions and all this stuff. This is, it's just so many facets of where it can apply. And that's kind of, we said, we sat in our office and talked to Dave about it and just things. So he's really, this is going to be an introductory course. So he's not going to be teaching you how to program or anything like that. He's going to be talking about the companies and how they can use it themselves, how they can both sell and consume, right? They're going to sell those services to consumers right. and they're going to consume themselves to make their own exactly. procedures better. Exactly. Um, and you know, how it's gonna be a game changer, what kind of companies can really do well here, and just kind of how that industry can take shape and how you can be positioned to kind of know and, about that. And it's a full hour, folks, in HD, so. That's right. Check it out on the front page of TFNN. Any of Dave's services. So yeah. you got his daily newsletter, Path of Least Resistance, jump over there. Yeah. You can get a free trial of that for 30 days. You got, of course, his Technology Insider, his weekly newsletter, you can get a free trial of that. 30 days, and then he's got the Art of Time of the Trade Charts working with you, an awesome program, yeah. and you can get a month, a year, 30-day money-back guarantee if you sign up for that. So okay. either service, you're risking nothing, and uh, get in there in advance, get in there for the week. He's always talking about this type of technology, that way you're right. kind of looking at the newsletter. And the, the cool thing is, folks, this is a technology, I asked him specifically, it's a technology that you and I can use. I mean, yeah. it's, it's, it's going Dave to be something we're going to be able to use. the type of programs that he's using, you know, right. and people just shouldn't feel intimidated. This isn't going to be like a programming course, you right. know. But he's right, it is, um, right. and that's where, and he might do a follow-up course that's more intense for that a few months down the road, but you can download and plug and play, right? That's what you're yeah, asking him. You right. plug in variables, exactly. you tell it what you're looking for, right. and the, the computer uses algorithms to anticipate with these types of variables, and anything that's nu numeric is perfect for computers, right? So it when is. you can quantify variables, right. which the market, you're talking about volume, sure. right. percentage. Oh, the real estate market, I wanna do it in the well, real, real estate market. Hey, yeah. totally, exactly. Right? Exactly. Totally. 
So let's run over to natural gas again. See okay. Where I'm at. I get. Uh, Come on, we want one I way movement. a couple movement. minutes. One way movement. Okay, nice. you're all right. So right now you're looking at seventeen dollars, right? Seventeen kind of ticks away yeah. from that three ten price. Okay. And you got two minutes on the dot. Not bad. Not bad. You need yeah. a half penny to break even to yeah. the downside. Yeah, not bad. And again, just kind of paying attention, giving people some pointers here. These markets dry up in the final minute or two. Yes. So don't wait and think you can take that. Now, most of the time, you're going to be paying a spread, though, right. in the last minute. So you wouldn't want to necessarily, yeah, especially when you're on these outlayers where, you know, right now, if it's trading at 308, right. are you going to take $16 instead of 20? No. No, right. No. You're going to let it play out. So we'll see. But that's good. 20 bucks right now. We'll see what yeah. ends up. You stay right there, folks. And man, Mr. Basil Chapman's coming up next. Uh, Dow Industrial's down 14. NASDAQ uh, down 2. Big volatility out here, folks. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Wow! Go get them, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.